Um, how was that for you? Tough. Yeah, we struggled to get to keep possession and hold it. Um, struggled to build phases. Um, really, really stretched the Treviso backline, but um, it was tough. And there's a lot, a lot we can learn from it. How do you feel you went um, in the game time that you got? Yeah, I only got 20 minutes, but um, I tried to do as much as I could off my wing. Um, but they were physical when they came at us. There wasn't much space to do much. Um, and that's something we need to learn to break teams down. So that we can definitely take that to Irish. I mean, it's difficult to recreate that in, in training. There's nothing like playing the game to get up to speed. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's hard to recreate it, but I think the boys definitely put the effort in the training to recreate it. So but we what, can get to that level. What do you think you take out of it then, personally, and, and then as a group? Uh, as a group, I think we need to realise the problem earlier that we won't get from football. Uh, and so we won't create space that wide and between, between the defenders uh, and personally just trying to get involved as much as possible. Um, the chance maybe to run out next week with the um, shirt on your back and the home crowd, how should you that? Yeah, that would be a great opportunity if it, if it, if it comes about, um, especially being a well, for the first time properly yesterday. Um, when, when the photo shoot was. It's been a long one, okay, it's been a traffic, it's there. Yeah, um, yeah, so I can't wait for that. Um, and some of the England boys to come back in. So there's, there's plenty to work on and plenty of positives to take. Yeah, there's loads of positives to take, but it's a massive learning curve for us as a group. Uh, and yeah, as uh, Fitz said, building that fortress back in my favorite.